As you've noticed, I have plenty of ducks, but I don't really have any pigeons. This guy will have to do, because we are going to talk about that species of bird today. You know, today we pick up our cell phone for messages, but that wasn't always the case. Believe it or not, it wasn't so long ago that carrier pigeons were used to transmit messages. During the Second World War, believe it or not, some 58,000 pigeons were trained to carry messages. Some of these were attached to paratroopers. Paratroopers, of course, landed and they would send a message back to tell people where they were. But how do you attach a pigeon to a paratrooper? You get some help from the Maiden Form Bra Company. And believe it or not, during the Second World War, they came up with a harness. It was made of bra material that the paratrooper would attach to his breast. And when the paratrooper landed, would open the vest and the pigeon would fly off and deliver the message. And after the war, Maiden Form used this in their uh, advertising. They actually showed pictures of this contraption that held the pigeon and uh, they advertised that, that they are able to come up with a solution to all kinds of, uh, of problems. But even before the Second World War, carrier pigeons were very popular. During the First World War, there was a classic case of one specific pigeon, name of Cher Ami. And uh, this was uh, uh, an episode where an American battalion had wandered off course and they were surrounded by the enemy. And they would have been lost if they did not have this pigeon to release. And they sent a message and help came. Unfortunately, during the pigeon's flight, it was shot in the breast and in the leg and eventually died of its uh, wounds. Right now, that pigeon, Cher Ami, is stuffed and you can go see it in the Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C. Well, you may also know that the presidential inaugural parade goes by that museum. And therein lies another interesting story, because on the outside of the museum, you have live pigeons, and they're all over the trees. And you know what happens when you have pigeons all over the trees? They poop. Well, during President Nixon's first inauguration, he noticed that there was a lot of pigeon poop on the path. And uh, when the time came for the second inauguration, he wanted to make sure that he would not be pooped upon during the inaugural parade. So he set out an order to spray the trees with a specific chemical called polybutylene, because this is a sticky material and it once a pigeon lands on it, it learns never to touch that again. So it was supposed to scare the pigeons away. Unfortunately, the spraying was so massive that some of the pigeons were caught in the spray and their feathers became sticky and they literally fell out of the sky. So Nixon's second inaugural parade uh, had all kinds of dead pigeons on the side. And uh, he didn't get pooped upon. But within a year, he of course was mired in a whole bunch of poop of a different kind. And uh, eventually, he got stuck in it, and President Nixon's uh, presidency was ended uh, by, of course, another big pile of poop that was called the Watergate scandal. So there you go, the story of carrier pigeons and what pigeon poop can do to presidents.